All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Aaron Holland here, uh, back by popular demand. Um, I do know several teachers from some of the other schools have um, hit me up on this. I know this uh, was a very difficult day for a lot of teachers at the high school trying to figure out exactly how to post your grades for your actual progress report that was supposed to be printed today. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, for those of you teachers, again, as long as you have everything set up initially, grade calc options, etc., then you're at the point where you are ready to post your grades for your students. And I'm actually showing you only a specific area of my infinite campus login because the sandbox account, unfortunately, does not have the options that we must do to effectively post our grades as required uh, by CO. So with that being said, if you look in this area here, some of this should look familiar to you depending on what kind of class you're teaching. Um, basically, what you're gonna be doing is, for every single one of your classes, I know you can't see every one of the ones I have, but some teachers I know have several sections in one particular period or block and um, it's it's rough. I've got one teacher here at the high school, Miss Parker, who has 23 sections. So when you feel like you're having a bad day, just remember her and the mandatory four assignments she must put in each week. With that being said, by default, for those of you that haven't done this process yet, you're going to be where you're going to see your section name here, which I know you don't see the all, all of it because it's been trunicated here. You're going to see your term here, which again is term one, and Q1, okay? Now, to set this up, seriously, it's real simple. you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to progress, okay? And once you're at progress here, um, you're not going to see the percent and grade. These two columns will not be populated for you if you've not done this step yet. For me, I've already done it. I've already posted my grades, so it's not a big deal. Just know when you look at this, you're, gonna, you're not going to see any percents and not a single grade. Okay, so what you're going to do here is, and this part, and this is where I'm going to have to splice different pieces of the video together, so I'm going to go ahead and say this is the end of part one, and I'm going to show you where you need to go. It's going to be in the settings area of your grade book. Okay, so I'm going to switch uh, the angle here as to not have a FERPA violation. I'll be right back. Uh, basically, uh, if you notice where I'm at now, I'm in the settings area of my... Um, grade book and this is the area where you need to be under progress okay if you remember back you set grade calc options when you were setting up your q1 q2 q3 and q4 um, so that the grade book knew to calculate now um, the new task that was added was progress and because it was added you have to go in and actually um, basically you have to set grade calc options under progress as well because by default as you well know uh, is not set for it's set for no calc okay so with that being said I'm going to show you another window which once again I have to trunicate for FERPA purposes so uh, just bear with me but you're basically going to click grade calc options and when this bad boy pops up let me go ahead and just switch it real quick hold on one second Okay, I'm back again. So for this section right here under grade calc, uh, when you clicked on set grade calc options or grade calc options, um, uh, you'll notice uh, this term one progress is not going to be um, calculated. Okay, and this is the point where you're just going to click the drop down. You're going to click in progress grade. Your grading scale again is numeric and weight categories. Now, if you want to be a top-notch chef like me, again, I do in progress for all of them, numeric for all, and weight. That's just something I've been doing that I've found is probably going to help you. Okay, once you're done with that, you're going to click Save, and I've got to show you another window. Just bear with me. Okay, and if you notice, once you're back here, once you click Save, um, you're 
basically completed with that part okay so I'm gonna shift gears again show you another window okay so once you're here um, you'll notice uh, again you're still not gonna have percent or grade so once you've set grade calc options you're going to click the drop down go back to Q1 and from here you're gonna click post grade now the the steps I just showed you are imperative that you do those okay because if you don't what's gonna happen is when you post grade just to, sh just to let you know right here you're gonna go to progress because the task is progress that's what we're looking for and of course term one you're gonna click OK it's gonna save okay or, or modify if you will and it's gonna populate these two these two columns you'll notice it's gonna populate them okay if you didn't have anything there uh, earlier you have something there now okay make sure that over here I know you can't see where I went but you need to go and make sure that you click the save button if you try to navigate from this web page it will warn you hey are you sure you want to leave um, is this your final answer and you want to make sure and click cancel on that notification make sure you hit save okay once you have saved you're done okay now um, this is basically it in a nutshell if for some reason and I'm telling you, you have to do this for every one of your sections regardless of how many you have keep in mind you gotta go in under progress section and under settings which again is over here out of the way where you can't see and you have to set grade calc options okay grade calc options have got to be set I can't reiterate that enough under progress because they just created this task okay so once you're done with that and you have percent and grade you are good to go okay you are good to go now again if by some chance you only have the percent column going then that means you've not set grade calc options okay because ironically the grade is what the infinite campus is actually um, calculating for you okay not percent percents just by default display again make sure if you have both you're good if you only have one go back and just double check on that particular class trust me I've had several teachers today that just about had five coronaries okay so just just be aware of that and once you're at this point you have your two columns fully populated you are good to go hopefully this video wasn't too long and hopefully you got something from it thank you